Hey guys, producer Quinn here from the Scott and Alley Show. Uh, I just want to let you guys know that unfortunately for this week's podcast, the uh, recording crashed on the video side of things. We still have a podcast for you to listen to. Fortunately, it'll just have to be an audio version. We're still going to post it to YouTube. It's the video you're watching right now, obviously. But uh, of course, uh, without the video, all you're going to see is a quick photo of uh, of our logo. And uh, you're just going to have to listen to it like any other audio podcast. We will be back. We found a solution. We're hoping it's going to work. We're going to test it out this week for that to never happen again. But uh, unfortunately, this week, you're just not going to have anything for the video side of things. It broke my heart, uh, and we're all kind of annoyed about it. But, hey, you got to keep moving on, and we're, we just don't want to miss a week uh, with excuses or anything like that. So we're going to keep it going and make sure that we don't miss a week ever of the podcast. That's been my goal since the start of this. So we're going to keep on going. Uh, the podcast is coming out right now. Here we go, episode 58. Please enjoy it. Let's start with the fact that this is a 100 100%, 100%. Let's start again. <laughs> Hi. Let's start with the fact that this is a 100% fresh podcast. I'm not delving into last week. I'm not de- nothing. Nope. We're yep. we're into all new things now. Quinn's allowed to be on the entire time. Yes. <laughs> this oh, time. Right. actually, somebody is butt hurt by that. A little. I tried to bring him in. I said, "Lean in." See now you got to. I wasn't back expecting to be off that long. It was half the podcast. Yeah, but uh, I you thought it was, like a, I thought it was a lot. Well, oh, so it's do not you. just Melissa. So yeah. do you. Allie, too. <laughs> when Scott gets on a thing, oh, then I all got of a things s- today. Then it That's was, why I'm going first. Yes. <laughs> okay. Then quick, go first. Go. Yes. Go. All right. So uh, I just wanted to go a little, a little behind the scenes in our lives here, professionally as well in our careers. Mm-hmm. So I was wondering the other day, I was thinking about it. Um, and you guys have been together 17? 17. 17? Summer Turner. Summer Turner. Summer Turner. In, in yeah. May, it'll be in May. It'll be my seventeenth, like starting my seventeenth year, and in June, it's Scott's eighteenth. But working together, seventeen. Seventeen. Yeah. Yes. Cool. Cool. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. I was thinking, and and at this point, it's hard to say that. You may, who knows what'll happen? But it's hard to see you guys separate. Right. Oh my god! I don't even want to think about it. I'm done. Yeah, no, I, well, I can't even imagine it. I, okay, yes, I can sometimes. Okay, because when he pisses th- you off, I understand. No, no, no. no, no. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't. Uh, here's when I can think about it: when I am with somebody else in the broadcasting field, and we jive, mm. and we get real funny together. But then I think. Are they that great every day? Well, it's perfect like to say me. that. Like me. Like Scott. <laughs> yes. I just needed to yeah. get that in. Yeah, yeah. It's perfect you say that, though, because there's. I was wondering, <laughs> for both of you as well, and I have an answer to this as well, is, is there something in the field, not just necessarily radio, but in the field of media that you've always still wanted to do? Yes. Oh, we God, talked so about it on the show. Passionate answer. I want to do Bay. the morning show cruise. Oh. <laughs> What's wait? What where we take mean? listeners on a cruise? Uh, yes, but <laughs> have you seen the Titanic? <laughs> I I think that this would be fun. It's something. Well, and we don't have to take listeners. This is something that a morning show that I was with, they did it. A morning show that Scott was with, they did it. Went on vacation. It was like sponsored by. It's usually sponsored by a booze company or a travel agency, right. and they want you to promote their cruise or promote their booze or whatever the show from the cruise boat well you can (laughs) you can and a lot of times you do but that's like they don't use work then you don't use vacation days you will i can't i don't actually know how that works because i I was i was a part-time i was an was i an intern i I was a part-timer and intern (laughs) i was a sweet little intern or a part-timer so as far as them taking vacation, I don't know if they took vacation days or not. Did mm. you take vacation days? No, I was at. Uh, I had to stay behind and run the controls for Joe Mama. <laughs> oh, uh, what eight podcasts ago when we met him? When you guys did, I had to stay behind and run the run the board, if you will, while they were in the Virgin Islands. They, gonna, they weren't actually on a cruise; they were actually on in the Virgin Islands. Well, that's fine too. Just like that, that type of vacation. Mm-hmm. That is one of those things that I had as a little baby broadcaster that I want to do now. So, and so still within the field of radio then? Yes. Okay. yes. It's just cool, an cool. experience in it. Cool, cool. Yes, yeah. right. And I thought you said that you did end up going on a vacation. Yeah, with you. We went to no. Aquatica and we did... I, well, I started... Okay, so when I was moving from West Palm Beach to Cleveland in 95 to start my uh, time that I did uh, on the air in Cleveland... 
uh, they actually had it set up where they were broadcasting live from Universal Studios uh, cool. in Orlando. So yeah. I drove four hours north, started my, my morning show, mm-hmm. and then... I ended up taking a week off after those first three days to get myself, you know, transitioned up there. So it was kind of a, it was a unique sort of a way to kick off a show. Now, I you'll have to ask Joe Mama, did they make him take vacation? Or, That's a great question. Oh, right. Or was that part of, hey, this is just your job? Because you don't end up broadcasting the entire time. You will do like usually two days and then you spend the rest of the weekend there. Mm-hmm. And that's how I would be totally fine with that. But... I, don't I got even know. something to say about that. What? I don't want to use vacation for it anymore, and here's why. No, me neither. No. Here's why. It has changed. When I was in uh, Universal Studios, social media wasn't a thing. Mm-hmm. And when Joe was in the Virgin Islands, so- social media wasn't a thing. People have gotten smart now. Companies have gotten smart now. So if you think you're going to go do your four and go to the beach, you know, do your four on the air, do your then the beach afterwards. Oh, no, 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 no. I can promise you it will end up being a day where you will have to do tons of social yep. mm-hmm. to help promoting it. Now, I'm not saying that's bad. That's actually you're working. <laughs> you, you have become working where I know for a fact we didn't work after the morning show. We did have tours of Universal Studios, but we we. Might take a picture here and there, but there were no websites to put it on. There were no, you know, social media platforms to put it on. It was for (laughs) us to learn stuff to talk about to promote to people. Same with Joe. So today, in my opinion, if we went, it would have to be non vacation because you know, from ten fifteen in the morning, they'd have us out on a charter, Mm -hmm. you know, filming this or drinking. Oh my god, sounds terrible. But you know what I'm saying? (laughs) Uh, And and social media does not take two seconds. I mean, Allie does one of these. You know, she gets done editing of it, and she's doing one of these, and and you're talking to her. You're like, Allie, I'm going to do this, this, and this. Allie, I'm going to do this, this, and this, this. Allie. I'm editing. It's going to take all day. And when someone comes up to you while you're doing that, you're just like, you're spending an hour on a simple edit, dude. Like mm-hmm. the other, like the reverse way. It's just like, like a, a fan comes up to you and is talking to you. And I'm just like, yeah, 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 yeah. Blah, oh, no, yeah, that's so cool. Blah, blah, blah. And then I'm just like, I just <laughs> I have, have to no cut the ins and outs said. out of this This was video. an entire segment. If someone just hit it right here, they'd be like, what the hell just happened? When we're editing, don't walk up to us. <laughs> <laughs> uh, with that, though, I want to, I know we took that little Universal Florida Allegiant thing yeah. years ago. I want to do it in like more of a tropical oh, or yeah. I want to mm. I want to do it in a, a, a place that I would rather be. I, yeah. I don't like Florida at all. I don't want to go to Disney. I don't want to go to Universal. I know that makes me sound like such a stuck a up more snob. Tropical. It makes me sound Let's like go a to the Virgin Islands. Yeah, 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 yes, yeah, for sure. And we have to get into this in a different podcast. That vacation was interesting. Oh, oh it was. Oh. <laughs> there is a, that's a session. Well, for that's another a whole another yeah. story. Here's a tease for maybe next time. <laughs> yeah, that's, that was okay. Um, that's, whole a, thing. that's on the docket then for next time because I can't wait to that tell you. That may have been part one of what led me to my divorce. What? Do you oh, think? Oh my god! Because uh, you did oh, not. Now we're seem, definitely getting into you it. You did not <laughs> seem like. You were in divorce town at that point. Uh, oh I was uh, probably, you know, it would be well. Okay, now you we were just, on her team. It was, I, I, yeah, because it was. I was you, in the mindset of you know, find a way to keep her happy to keep my life, you know, from mm. being, you know, a, happy wife, happy life. Yeah. I want to dig. Yeah, I want to do this vacation now with the Scott now. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> do, you, do you have something that you've always still wanted to do? Uh, you know, oh, honestly. Yeah. I would love for Jimmy. I'm not joking about this. I'm not joking. I want to host a Tonight Show one time. Oh, oh like a one, one, like a one time. Okay. I don't. Nobody would know who I am, so they'd be like, you know, <laughs> here's the applause. <laughs> it's me. <laughs> you know, yeah. Well, but, that leads so, to the whole Regis and Kelly thing. Does oh Qu- my does God, right? know about this? I don't know. Were you on with Regis? I was no. this close to Almost. being on with Kelly. Oh, yeah. Like as a co-host? In fact, so this goes back. This is almost 10 years ago when, before Ryan Seacrest, you'll never see it again. Because now that Ryan Seacrest is with Kelly Ripa, uh, Ryan being a radio guy, he will never step away and go, let another radio guy take my spot. Just like this. If I'm out for a week or two weeks because I've got to have my colon cleansed, whatever, I'm not saying, hey, somebody, unless it's Joe Mama, I trust him implicitly. Or Goose. (laughs) Or Goose. Nobody else is sitting in this chair. Those are friends, by the way. Those are other radio friends. Very close radio (laughs) friends that we've had for many years. Those are the two people I would say, you can sit in here because even if you do a better job than 
telling me you know it's not yours. You're yeah, not yeah. aiming for it. So <laughs> yeah. Um, but that being in the same theory for for Ryan, he's not going to step out on vacation and be like, hey, let's let radio people go around. So here's the way this works. We figured this out. We had this huge. It was an email campaign, wasn't it? But this is before texting was really huge. I think so. Um, so it, you had to email this website for Kelly and uh, well, was it Regis? <sighs> Yes, uh, Regis was still there. Regis was there. He was going on vacation or yes. something. And oh, so it was a temporary thing. It, it was, was just it was for like a two week period and gotcha. be or a week period he'd be a different morning host uh, each okay. radio host each day. It was a contest. Yeah. And um so I uh you had to email. Now we yes. talked about this a lot on the Scott and Alley show that you know it was it became this drive and our listeners because we're in an area that's very spread out but has a large amount of people just all over. It's not yeah, like yeah, a big yeah. downtown city. For anyone that's not from the area we are, we don't have a huge downtown like, let's say, a Buffalo, Rochester, L.A., whatever. Um, we have a, two very smaller downtowns, actually three or four, and then it's more rural. But there's a lot of people. I mean, yeah, if we yeah. had a big downtown, we'd be a much bigger city. But um, So everybody was doing it. We got a phone call from the producers of Regis and, and Kelly, and the girl, she was stunned. She couldn't believe it. She goes, Who are why, you? <laughs> why are we getting so many votes for you in this? Kind Wait, of ex- yeah, let's back up. So here's what happened. You had to submit first. Yes, I had so to submit he, a video. A, a video, okay. there was like an application. So that was the initial. So oh, and we got to say what I did. Oh, go ahead. I, I, I do an impression of Regis. Oh, I love it. So I did Regis, and I'm like, you know, here's one of the reasons why. We'll do it. That I should be on the show. Now, listen, what we got to do, and, and, you know, God rest Who my soul, to be I'm a millionaire. dead. Okay, I know. I've been dead for a while now, but, you know, everybody oh loves God. Reach, right? Everybody loves Are you paying attention? Everybody loves Reach, right? So I said, you know, what would be really funny is if I came out, and I was like, I'm not really Reach, but I'm Reach, right? Okay, so we get it all, right? Okay. So, so, so okay. Oh, my he, God. So he, got, he had the video. There was the application, because I remember us typing out the answers. Yep. I remember we did this together. And then that got him to the second phase, which was on the Regis and Kelly site was... You clicked to vote, and I think it was like once per day or something, something like that. Yeah. So you could vote for Scott Free of so the Scott. You guys were like, everybody vote for Scott. Oh, yes, were, yes. They and were. it was they I were inundated. It. But you want to know this is the biggest BS of the whole oh, thing. She's got it. The, we figured this out, and we kind of mm, between the two I, of us made comments. It was like, a hoax. I am so mad about this. Yeah. He gets this phone call from one of the producers, who's just baffled at how many votes he gets. Yeah. But guess who got picked? The five top guys from L.A., Seattle, because I think Bobby Bones was one of them, I think right? So, yep. Bobby Bones, the guy from Detroit. I know Atlanta was in there. Uh, yeah, so it was always the top five like big cities. They specifically didn't pick the small guy, and that pisses me off. Even though I, I'm convinced that Scott had the most votes. At we're least for ca- we're one calling of the days. out Kelly for one of the. Yeah, days. I don't well, think Kelly's, was, Kelly's producers. It was the producers, but yeah, whatever. So what? And, 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 and of course, <laughs> yeah. And of course, what do they do? Well, I understand the logic behind it. Those cities have huge population yeah, bases, yeah. so mm-hmm. for a morning show in Atlanta to go on and say, "Hey, I'm going on uh, to fill in for Regis on Live with Kelly and Regis at the time," well, that obviously they're doing it to try to get viewership. Right. You know, and and pull those audiences in. I, hey, it was disappointing. I would have loved. It would have been a lot of fun to be able to to do it. Okay, he was. What, close. Can you tell me? What, you remember what, around what year that was? No, <laughs> don't. No. I don't. This is a while ago. <laughs> Somewhere in the seventeen. You know, it's so oh, funny. Okay. I don't know why ago. that was such an integral moment of our career. Oh, because it, this was, was in it. right. This was. It was like a couple months that this was going on. Yeah. We, were, we were like, oh. when are they going to call? I wish when I was are they part of the call? hype? That would have been so fun. Oh, it was a blast. And for some reason, even though it was like an integral part of our career, yeah. I don't remember when it was. Uh, it had to, okay. Is this pre Strahan. Uh, Strahan. Michael what? Strahan was on it for a while, right? What's oh, his name? Is that was his name? he? Yeah. Uh, the football player? Oh, he, he was for like a year. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. He it was re- Michael Strahan. <laughs> yeah, that's right. It See, was, I can whistle through my gap. Wasn't it re- <laughs> Me and Madonna. Yeah. Me and wasn't Madonna. it Regis, then Michael, and Michael was only a year? Michael and, was short, yeah. And then they had Michael like... Michael was going to Good Morning America. It's, yes. Is, and then yeah. it seemed like they didn't know who to pick for a while before right. Seacrest. Right, yeah. right. Yeah, okay. Well, you know, that's something that's very common actually in the... In the industries of entertainment, test it out. A bit. Uh, you, yeah. you, you. Sometimes it, it just may not be the right gelling. I mean, we've talked about this on many well, podcasts ago. That yeah. I've I've had many different co-hosts, and it took a long time to get oh, to an yeah. alley. Coming so. full circle to what you said, can you imagine being with somebody else? Not really. Yeah. And and that's just where it stands. Do you have something that you 
want yes. to okay what is it so do you remember i was uh, an extra in a film on netflix yes but you could see m- all of me except my face yes because it was being blocked by a, <laughs> that's a my luck too for what it's worth i i would like to because i only i went two days and it, funnily enough on two separate years mm-hmm. uh i did two days of shooting and that the experience itself was fun yeah. being on set and stuff like that so i'd like to i think i'd like to be an extra again at some point for something or isn't that so on. Just, just yeah, and be like, and actually have me see myself yes. this time. <laughs> yes, isn't that so funny? Because both of yours, I would never want to do either one of these things. I don't want to be on a set all day. I think I would get bored eventually. And with yours, I never. Not that I never want to host a show, but I don't know if I really. It's just not in me for for me to be on TV and hosting an entire show like that. You could be my Ed McMahon. Here's Scotty. Here's and then- Scotty. And then just, you know, sit down and laugh at all the jokes that I tell yeah. that are horrible and you do that anyway I'll try. really well. So, <laughs> you know, I mean, you somehow make me feel good about my terrible humor. Well, uh, you, you know, what can I say? Uh, somebody's gotta. Did you have to, listen, you're getting paid, so shut up, do it. <laughs> <laughs> I have two things. If we can't get to both things, God, I hope we can get to both things. I don't know, because you have... Why do I feel like uh, I'm going to be exhausted by the time this conversation Well, maybe the over. first one will go fairly quick. Okay. Let's see what happens in just a minute, and it's going to deal with a question revolving around Naughty movies. Oh. oh. Hey, I hope you all are enjoying the podcast. If you're itching for that next episode, but you're all caught up, don't forget to check out Scott and Allie On Demand in case you missed the Scott and Allie show live on the air. Hit up your favorite podcasting app and search Scott and Allie so you can listen whenever and wherever you want. We're here for you. Now let's get back to the podcast. All right, we're back with the Scott and Alley Not For Air podcast, and I do want to be very clear on this. This is a segment that is not for young ears. No, the kids, I don't want, you know, no kids. Mm. Okay? Yes. So Hodge that's... kids. <laughs> 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 well, I don't want somebody being like, uh, no. no. I don't want to teach my kid that. Okay. Exactly. All right. I think, Allie, you're going to be the primary one to be able to answer this. But, Quinn, you, you may have an opinion on this. Okay. Hmm. Here, I'll, I'll set the stage for you. Okay. This is not happening. This is theoretical. I just want to point that out. Okay. You have Zach's passcode to his phone. Mm. I'm sure I do, but I don't. <laughs> you just shove his phone I, in his face? I don't care I'm enough. not talking snooping. No, I know. I think I know it, but I I think it's a, it's the date of one of the wars. <laughs> All right. Let's, <laughs> 1941, America entered no, World War II. No, it is something like that. It's like his favorite wars. Do, do it like this. Like Pearl imagine, Harbor. Um, yeah. Oh, yeah, 12 7. Um, all right, so imagine this. You have to pick up the phone for whatever reason, and you open the phone, and you go to the internet, and you see he's been to an adult website. Okay. Okay. Yes. Now, obviously, look. People sometimes need alone time, even if you're with someone. Mm. We've we've learned this over life, right? Yes, I mean, yes, sometimes yes, you yes. just, or maybe you're not with the person, and you would you be turned on, creeped out if you happen to see, like, say you clicked on the movie, you're like, oh, what kind of freaky shit is he watching here? Uh-huh. Would you be turned on, or would you be creeped out if the the guy or the or the girl in this case for Zach because I you picked up his phone yeah kind of looked like you like he sought out or he stopped that <gasps> oh. one that sort of looked like you this is a great question thank you very much and I would be turned on I I, I love that I love that 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 I am he's seeking out a freaky deaky that looks like you that I'm his fantasy that mm. I am that whatever he is looking for when I'm not there is still like me okay so you would not be creeped out no you would not, not be mad not at all you might take and go hey can we try that <laughs> but I have a I have a uh, part B to this question. But go ahead, Quinn. You can answer it. I, I agree. I think it, uh, it would make me feel more secure. I think yes, because it's like, oh, is he into like or is she for me into uh, this kind of guy and not that's clearly not what I am. You know right. what I mean? So, but if right. it is, if it does look like me, I'd be like. I am on the right path here. Scott, you okay. answer now. Oh, I would be very turned on. Now, at the same time, too, I don't even like seeing myself naked, let alone someone that looked like me naked. <laughs> that means or there. We, when you go, let's pretend you guys are going to the Poconos and they have the one room with the mirror on the ceiling. Yeah. Would mm. you not book that mirror because you don't want to see yourself? 
Oh no, that's different. <laughs> that, was, <laughs> that, might, <laughs> that was not my part B, but I just I, no, that, I don't know. Change when you're actually getting freaky. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but, you know, if, it's part of the freaky. You know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, my part B was this would just happened in that White Lotus show that I've been watching. Wait, this happened? No, well the the the, the question I'm about to ask. Oh, so this just happened in the White Lotus show, which reminds me. She comes in and interrupts the guy while he is watching a movie. Yep. And enjoying the alone time, if you Enjoying will. the alone time. Now, they're on vacation at a resort together. She just, like, say she went downstairs to get, like, a muffin and a coffee or something and comes back in and the room. And he went online to get a muffin. So, <laughs> would you be offended, hurt, or okay with, if you're around... That they they were pleasuring themselves and watching a movie. I'm going to answer that question the same way you answered me one time when we had a conversation about women that, you know, do it. And your answer was, give the girl her time. Let her enjoy what she wants to enjoy. Or I don't think if, I said that. Yes, you did. I specifically asked you. I How said, years "Why?" Ago was that? I remember the conversation. Uh, I don't think this was on the show, but maybe it was. If a, if you are in a situation where I'm here, fully capable of providing. Yeah. Pleasure. Yeah. Why would you go do it alone? And everybody agreed. Sometimes a girl just needs her time to herself to do what she needs to do, if you know what I mean. No, because that I don't was think the, that now. That was the collective answer. <laughs> At the time, I was that in a was different the, time and place. Yeah, yeah, I don't know what headspace was I in. Because well, don't mess I, me up because I took that advice and stopped being offended by her using it herself. If I'm here, if we're if we're in the same, if we're on a if we're at a resort together, yeah, I, well, or anywhere. whatever, then like if I'm here. Use me. I am. T- uh, you know. I, I swear to you, because I was bothered by the fact. I'm like, why not just, you know, say hey. Yeah, like hey. And then I got these free free hands. I don't remember the. Uh, <laughs> I don't remember the other females that were involved. And it may have been callers that were calling the show that just basically said, "No, sometimes girls got to do what a girl's got to do. Leave well, her be. Don't be mad at that." If I, if you're at work, yeah, or if you're you're masturbating at work, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Wait, other, we gotta go. The other person's over. When, yeah, if you're, like, if you're at work. If you're at work, or I mean, like, if you're really like, freaky, or like, let's after say, seventeen years, there's still a miss sometimes. You <laughs> see, like, you know, Annette is in a different state right now, and I'm sure she needs some. She needs some. Uh, you thought I had to get eye surgery for cataracts? I was damn near going blind. <laughs> <laughs> oh that's my thought now. No, well, is- okay, so it was, now see, now you're messing me up because now <sighs> originally your answer was girl got to do what a girl got to do. Let her be. Don't, you know, don't don't make it an issue. Don't, you know, let her do what she's got to do. And I'm like, yeah, but I'm right here. I'm fully capable and I want it all the time. So and now if you're you, sleeping, well, then you're sleeping. And I, and oh, okay. you've never woken someone up to oh, get some. Not that I've never woken somebody up, but sometimes, you know, you're just like, oh, they, look at that little angel baby. They're sleeping. I'm going to let them sleep. And you're going to rub one out? <laughs> yes. Yes. Hey. The answer is yes. All Scott. right. Well, that is now. You know, real. I'm. De- that's bad because now you really had to just go ahead and change everything that was there. And I finally settled into the piece of girl got to do what a girl got to do. And now I'm hearing this. Yeah. I. I. I don't want you to just be right next to me. Well, I will tell you what a guy's mind. Would, okay. There is an say. exception. Okay. Go ahead. What? Uh, what's your exception? The. Ex- <laughs> You're pissed at me. No, this is such a, this is an awkward thing to say to two people that I look at like brothers. Quinn, turn around. Here we go. Come on. I'm serious. Turn around. Turn around. Don't look at it. Sometimes, okay, sometimes there might be, you know, we don't cross the finish line. And if we don't cross the finish That's line. That's different. That's different. I don't mind if you decide to cross the finish line because the act has already been Accomplished yeah. for both of us. You're no, just it doesn't. See, for not it not for you. It's not finished, but yeah, but you know, we both like you didn't enjoy it happening. I did, but you know, you, we we need to. We're running the race. I have to cross the finish line. That's fine. I'll, I I will gladly say, go ahead and finish the finish go, line. You go. You go finish. <laughs> yeah. well, I mean, do it this right there. Well, well I'm done. A, you go on. It's a, right, <laughs> selfish. It's like it's like no, a, it's, it's not. the relay. Scott's handing the baton off. You can call it whatever you want. Yeah, here you go. You can cross. You can cross you the finish line because 
Well, I've already I like crossed. Bowling Good. Scott's like, I've already crossed the finish you line. You better so. have hid your children. <laughs> no, I'm yeah. what, what, I'm saying, what I'm saying, though, is is that would not be a bother because sometimes just that happens. A guy just, you know, you it, it just you guys, you're taking forever. You're so fast. God Almighty, yeah. you're oh. taking forever, woman. So. That, and actually, it's kind of hot. I'm not here for a sprint. I'm here for a marathon. Well, yeah, but sometimes a sprint happens, and it's not intentional, you know? <laughs> right. But that being said, <laughs> that being said, it's also kind of hot. Metaphor. It's also kind of hot if you do it right there while I'm right, right here. Right. That's, that's what I'm trying to say is, okay, you've already crossed the finish line, because apparently you're sprinting, and I thought we were we were in a marathon. Okay, I'm sorry. It was so, just one of those nights. Y'all need to work on your communication. <laughs> <laughs> no, so, I gotta do those so you're first. right. So sometimes there is the crossing the finish line, and that is okay. Yeah. Now back to what a guy would think. Okay. You know, if I'm in there, you know, oh. and you, not you, God, jeez. Yes. Uh, but you know, but you as a female, significant, you know, the other, uh, other walks in. Um, are you asking? Would you, the significant other that opened the door and saw it happening, would you be offended, or yes. would I be? Oh no, your your responsibility is to start sucking. <laughs> I mean, if you're on vacation and you see that going on, come on, take this thing to a high heat level. Let's go right there. I, but why did you start doing it without me while I was going to get a muffin? Because watching you walk out of the room, I saw your ass and I got horny. So wait, you couldn't wait five you could have yeah, wait five minutes, like went and got my muffin and coffee? It's got a mind of its own sometimes. I oh can't my necessarily, gosh. you know, I mean I So all of a sudden he's like, What does it take for you to suddenly be like, you know, I can I'm, wait. See, women, again, this is the sprint marathon. I'm I'm like anticipation. Stop making that move. <laughs> I'm anticipating. <laughs> Hold on, my brother. Oh my God, she does a show tune on a wiener. <laughs> Jazz hands. Uh, I'm all about the anticipation. So with the anti- so with that, because you're downstairs getting a muffin and coffee, I'm like, yes, I can't wait till he gets back in this room with that muffin and coffee because... He's going to want to eat dessert after this. Okay, so here's... Okay, now th- this... God, this is going to kill me because this is taking longer than I expected and I wanted mm-hmm. to get to the other thing and you have a meeting again. Stop booking meetings on podcast I days. found out last night. Tell six, somebody no. I found out at 6.37 You could have said night. no. Anyway, well, back to... That's a perfect transition back to the sex talk. No. <laughs> um, so, Quinn, have you ever heard my theory of the difference of the chemistry of the, the men and the women of in the mind when it comes to sex? I don't know that you've ever heard this theory and I think you agree with me. Tell it uh, again. You have a lot of theories. So. Okay. Again, this is a little raw. I apologize. Oh, uh, don't no kids. That. Okay. <laughs> Only afterwards. Uh, but uh, mm-hmm. so here's here's what here's what it is. The reason guys are the way guys are. Oh, he constantly wants it and this and that. Guys forget it. Not forget that we did it, but we forget the sensations mm-hmm. almost immediately afterwards. Where women are the opposite. Women remember, and forgive me, this is super, super just out there. I remember that dick. She remembers that dick and every push in with it. Oh, and, I hate the way you say it. Well, I'm just, but I, I'm talking to Quinn right now. And oh. So oh. women remember, women remember it different. And this is also why, have you ever had the farewell fuck? I'm sure you have in a relationship. We'll explain that. Okay, that's where a girl is going to... This just happened to Gordon. The girl oh. sleeps... Oh, oh, I'm ready for The this. girl sleeps with you one last time, whether mm. it's for her or whether it's, you know, thought process of to let you down. Something and, and, to remember and, you by. There you go. And they do. And that's the woman's mind versus the guy's mind. That's also why a lot of times... And this is actually a scientific... Also biology. This is a bio... Know, right? Well, there's a biological study that was done. Uh, a woman can have multiple orgasms, correct? Yes. I don't know how many women do, or not. I don't know if you count whatever. I don't know if you ever put that to a test. <laughs> Get the chalkboard with the towel. <laughs> a, a man, it's very difficult for a man to have multiple orgasms with the same woman in a single session, if you will. Mm-hmm. However, they did a study where a guy had sex with sex, 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 sex. <laughs> Sex <laughs> with seventeen different women consecutively. Oh my god! And or I know I wish I could have been part of that test. <laughs> seventeen different in a row, and was able to climax every single stop. Time. Yes, really. This is an old study. Maybe it needs to be redone. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm not joking. I remember that <laughs> he's he, volunteering. He, yeah. at least, the, he at least had a, like a 20 minute break between each one, right? Or well, something. I don't Water. think they lined them ass think. up on the table. <laughs> I don't know. That's a video, though. Yeah. You can find it. Uh, uh, but I, I'm going to bet that it was you know very quickly afterwards because they were trying to prove the point that 
Um, it doesn't necessarily work like that with women. You know, you can have multiple with the same individual. Not that you couldn't have multiple if you had more than one there. Ooh, but they're proving. Re listen to that line. But they're proving that you can have multiple with different women, but not the same. That's correct. You, you can have it with the same, but it requires that nap. That is so <laughs> weird to me because. I'm such an emotional that, being. That, this is why. The, yeah, I'm Guys such are an, meant to breed and spread the seed. I am such an emotional being with the person that I'm with that yep. I have to I have to really connect with them. And I, oh no, I just couldn't. I, I, as God is my witness that I remember that. I don't remember if it was in high school health class mm-hmm. that we learned that. Um, it was so <gasps> Back to, to the fair. Health class. The shit you remember from high school, if they could only teach about fucking with everything. I'd know math like nobody's business. Back to Gordon. Yes. So the girl sleeps with him, and does she break up with him? Oh, she turned like out two. to be a massive pile of trash. That was so disappointing for him. I, I had to hear about it for days on end because that was <laughs> agony. But, but Okay, um, but the story, though, well, this is the story agony. I need. She sleeps with him, and does she break up with him that night? No, it was... Within 24 hours. You know what, though? That should make him feel really good, though. Was this the one? That oh, no, he felt really bad. He thought, no. he thought she was going to be around for more. No, I mean, really good, though, that she was like, I just have to have it one more time. Um, mm, so I was going away. No, yeah, I, yeah. Because uh-huh. she was the one that finally gave the signs that she did. See, now, okay. If it was the situation where I got to have it one more time, that works if you are just casual sex partners and you, maybe someone's getting ready for a relationship. Mm. It doesn't work when she dumps you the very within 24 to 48 hours because then a guy knows that was the farewell fuck. Yeah, but do you hear what I'm saying, though? Like, mm, she loved like your that. D so much. She, if she did, she could have stayed for more. That's the problem. Yeah, but if I don't, if I'm not gelling with your personality, but that D so good. Well, she, I had, gotta, she had emotionally, uh, she was emotionally not mature at all and didn't have the ability to tell Gordon earlier on, hey, this may not develop to what you're hoping it to develop to. And unfortunately, he didn't he didn't do all the wrong things he's done before. And we've talked about that in previous podcasts. But unfortunately, uh, you know, it, it, it bit him even doing the right things or slowing things down, if that makes sense. So now what is he going to go back to showering them with hundreds of dollars and, you know, <laughs> no, women I, taking advantage of him? No. I, one, he's focusing on work a lot more right now, which is healthy for him. Um, I... I don't know. Um. Well, here's something funny. The other day, we were at a live broadcast, and we were talking with somebody who is awesome, and Scott said, are you single? And she said, single like a Pringle. Remember who I'm talking about? <laughs> no. Okay. Oh, yes. Oh, okay. the, the woman that ah. I would like to introduce to Gordon. Yes, yes. yes. And we were, we were like, oh. Because she have... has her shit together. Yeah, and we were, we were like, oh, you know, you should meet Gordon, blah, blah, blah. She sent me a text message today uh, with a screenshot of Gordon. And she goes, I swear our phones are always listening. I assume this is the Gordon you guys were talking about. Is it? It keeps popping up at now as a friend's suggestion. It's the Gordon. It's Gordon. Uh, all right. I got it. Uh, Gordon's been working wonky hours, so I'm going to have to try to connect with him o- over a weekend and be like, listen, you need to accept this friend request. Yes. That girl has it put together. She's got a fun personality. She's the I, one. It, it could be. <laughs> and she's closer to his age, which makes a whole lot oh, for good. him. For oh. him, I think he needs it. Well, then yeah. that brings me to my last question about the fair, the girl with the farewell. Was she a much younger person? Um, not emotionally. Yes, emotionally, okay. she was very immature. Younger in the physical sense, maybe only by about five years. Oh, okay. I thought maybe that that was part of the thing. Okay, next week we'll uh, we'll reconvene. Oh yes, and you wanted to talk about that trip many years ago to Florida. Oh my God! Yes, I'm <laughs> right. so glad you reminded there me. There you go.